What is going on everyone? This is DK Magician and I welcome you to another episode of my Mardek playthrough. Now we are going back to the catacombs where we were. Uh, we just explored the, the sewers last time. Now we got a whole new map which is the catacombs to explore. Which is supposedly filled with dead bodies because people like bury uh, bodies here. Uh, which is quite normal considering it's a catacomb. So we have a lot of enemies here, zombie enemies, which makes sense, I guess. Now let's blast these guys. There we go. Looks like this guy will get an attack. Filthy hit, you filthy boy. There we go. So yeah, things are going well. Let's explore this place as we often do to pretty much everywhere we've, where we've been. We just want to loot it all. It's our mission. We don't care about saving the world. We just want to get riches. And now we are assaulting this grave. These massive catacombs of generations of bodies. Where should we treasure, I guess? Also a good thing that we are fighting like this type of enemies, because I want to drop these items that these guys have, these guys have. Crap. Now let's teach shields to our deck. It is important. Oh, this guy is a magic user. There we go. Nice. Eh, zombie dust. No luck. Do we get anything here? Well, we actually got lucky or unlucky, depending on the perspective. This is actually where you have to go in case you want to continue through the dungeon. So we already know the main path. Bones. Kettle heads in the middle of the bones. Okay. I think. Well, actually, let's give this to Zack. Uh, I was gonna say that nobody needed this, but it's an upgrade. So Zack keeps it. Oops. Yeah, a lot of zombies here. Should be no problem. Let's see if we can. Uh, no, we can't. Well, if we killed two, that was pretty good, actually. Now, instead of attacking, we want to shield. There you go. Very easy. These guys have pretty reasonable level, too. Old bone. Oh, Mardek has learned in Sonia, which is really nice. That means we can start teaching him other skills. I actually feel like teaching this to... Yeah, giving this to this... No, 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 never mind, never mind. I was thinking about swapping these two and teaching both MP and, uh, and uh, HP to Mardek, but that's probably a bad idea, so we'll just keep it like that. Evasion, yeah, very good. Unfortunately, we can't learn both, so we stay like that. Uh, okay, we're good here, I guess. As for this boy, antibody. Oh, almost learning the resisting to poisoning. So let's see what can we find down. Well, there's a treasure over there. I can see it. So let's grab it. You are mine. Liquid lights. And nothing else. Anything else down here? Please be a treasure. I want a treasure. Ah, uh, nope. Over there in that black square should be more treasure. We're also getting kind of unlucky with our drops, because I'm pretty sure that these zombies that we've been fighting drop a lot of stuff. 
also a red encounter. Uh, high level zombies, no problem. There we go. Alright. See? No drops again. No luck. What do you get here? Mugwort juice. It's the thing that causes scissors. That's not very nice. Now, another chest here. And the phoenix down. And we looted all this map. Let's uh, turn around and return to where we were. After we get rid of these boys, of course. What is this blood got weak against? Actually, nothing. Just light, but we can't really attack it with light, so we'll just attack it with fire. There we go. Let's actually use shield instead of attacking, because as I said, I want... Oh, this is really nice to learn some uh, skills. Because it attacks everyone, so it actually teaches like magic defense uh, like um, four at a time, which is nice. You know, magic defensive rea reactions. Uh, okay, let's proceed, I guess. Because we already explored the first floor of the catacombs. So we are going to the second one. Uh, this way, I guess. Yeah, I'm going well, I'm going well. Another red encounter, what do you have here? Some high level zombies, no problem. Can I have your swords, please? I think those count as swords, they're maces, but... Uh, what the hell? Oh! That was a lot. 1.3k The Ugan got his agility, you are not an agile boy uh, This is not really that useful actually, but yeah What can I teach him else? Um, I think nothing of particular importance, so we'll just keep it like that Yeah, we're good, we're good now let's go down. And we got to another big room with a lot of encounters, hopefully. And a lot of items too, which is really nice. Let's go right first because I see a yellow spot here. A better potion. That goes for Zack. And an encounter, a regular one. Oh, it's these annoying boring dudes. Okay, what are you weak against again? Yeah, the useful. This should get rid of all of them. There we go. Also a lot of cash here, which is really nice. Uh, I think it's a boss encounter on the left side, but I might be mistaken. We'll see. Um, another encounter. Oh, what the hell, Zack? Do I have to do everything? Oh, also I'll teach you something. You can actually use heal on zombie type enemies and they will actually be hurt, like as you've seen. But most of the time it's better to just attack them. Mm. Potion, never mind. This is not a boss encounter. <laughs> um, I see that there is an item through the left side. So we will explore the left side first. Uh, we got these big boys. Should be of no issue. And it's not. No problem. No 
Okay, now we go down. Hopefully through the right way. Actually, there is a sign here. What does it say? Do you have trouble in navigating your way through difficult dungeons and challenging cave complexes? Do you spend hours looking for a hidden passage that all uh, your cooler friends know about but you don't? Visit Bob's map shop today for the navigational needs. So there's actually a secret passage over here as you can see. Here it's pitch black like here in the right and there is a passage. Yeah. We will be there. We will... We will be there after we go to the uh, left side. Liquid sounds, okay. You see, this is also a secret passage. Uh, what are these guys? These guys weak against? No, uh, just magic in general, which is what we use against them. No problem. We got a lot of cash now, which is really nice. Too bad that the Gosna shop is closed. Okay. This looks like some sort of tomb. Silver sword, another one. I think it's exactly... Yeah, it's exactly the same of the one I already have, so not really an upgrade, but okay. So let's go down. We should start giving some equipment to Vern as well, because it's like there's no point hoarding swords or something like that. Um, yeah. Now we do this. No! Actually, let's just shield. I want him to learn shield. Yeah, 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 okay, no problem. Still no problem. And still no problem. Let's attack with this guy. Uh, wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, can I just hurt slash him? Uh, let's actually use shield again, because... Yes... Ooh! You know some nice skills. Drain! Now let's flame you. There we go. And Zack got to level 11. Uh, let's heal everyone, because we got badly hurt. Also, Mardek is running out of MP. I hope there is some sort of crystal after that secret passage, because we're getting badly hurt from this dungeon. We're starting to need to grind again. Or maybe not really, because the enemies are just at about our range, but uh, I'm using a lot of MP, you know. Yeah, we got through the secret passage. Now let's go to the right side. Please be a crystal here. Nope. Just a regular encounter. I think I'm gonna use Emela to attack this time to get some MP back. Yeah. Too bad I can't do that with uh, Mardek. But Mardek can ask attack instead. Okay, no problem. There you go. I could use a better weapon for Zack to. Oh! Here's the crystal that I was looking for. Let's save. Okay. Now... This side or the other one? Raider Solid Door. It's locked tight, but there's a keyhole. With the right key, you'll be able to get through. So... We actually have to go around this time. What do you have here? Something here. A Loon Juice. Okay. This cures numberness. Okay, we actually have to go this way. And we go to a completely opposite side of the map. Or like a completely another map. With nine more items to loot, which is really nice. 
And since we are now healing, we can just blast them with fire. Also, these and this. Eh, no problem. These zombies are rather weak. Okay, finally we got some items. We got the mace. Which actually is the strongest item we got so far with 22 attack. But I'm still keep using this because uh, because of all the damage against the undead. Uh, so yeah, we keep it like that. What we don't keep like that is this. Uh, this guy already knows antibodies, so we might as well change it to someone else. Uh, Yeah, I think she's not learning anything in particular now, so let's give this to this boy, and it stays like that. Now Emel uh, may learn antibody, the rest is fine. This guy, however, is not learning anything right now. Uh, I can teach him in Sonia though, I guess. Yeah. Yes, I can. I just use this. Yes, and now Zack learns in Sonia instead. Perfect. Also, yeah, these were these were good. Ardex still doesn't know any magical reactions. This is quite bad. Mm, I think this Geo jacket is not that important right now. But yeah, if I'm gonna swap things around, I'm gonna create a big mess. So... Maybe I'll just do this. And I'll keep the gel jacket for now. And maybe later I'll equip it again. But right now, everyone is learning something for, from their armors. And now Mardek will have a magic defensive skill as well. Uh, yeah, like this. Wait, 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 wait. I can do that. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, yeah, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I was thinking of swapping the item, but uh, uh, Mardek still has to learn uh, shield, so I can't really swap it yet, at least. Now, this dungeon is enormous, you know. Is this a secret place? No, not really. Now, this way. Okay, we got an item here. Monish. Nice. We got Monish from the dead body. See, that's why you don't, don't care about money. You just uh, die. It doesn't. You, why do you do it to the grave? That is just stupid. <laughs> or, uh, in other words. Uh, when you die, you don't really take anything with you, so don't stress too much. Oof. Just enjoy life. Like, don't be like that guy that took uh, money to his grave. Like, that guy is very stupid. Very stupid. Um, okay, we're good. What a massive dungeon we have here. Also another item here. Remedy. Okay. Okay, this guy is definitely uh, an encounter like a boss. So I might as well get ready for him. Uh, you're weak against fire, right? Can you please die all? Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. We got the human skull, we can loot this first. Ancient sword. Ooh, finally an upgrade for the Uga. And uh, you will get spirit blade and a magical reaction. So we are going to keep it like this. Let's. What can he learn? Spirit blade. It uses spirit rather than strength and is useful against foes with high defense and low magical defense. Like those. Uh, Blob things. 
we got some magic defense as well, and we're good. Now, I don't know how strong this boy he is, but we'll see. More! Okay. Uh, weak against fire, yeah, we'll see. Oh, he, he has lock techs. Um, this is quite bad because I wanted to use uh, remove Tingy. Uh, I think this removes curses and zombification. Yeah, curse, uh, no problem. Uh, let's start by shielding people, the weaker ones first. ML. Yeah, that is pretty pathetic. Lock soul, no problem. Now we can first get rid of his shields. Nice. And now we start shielding people. Uh, Zack. Okay, it deals okay damage now. Let's keep flaming this guy. Okay, doesn't look that bad. It just spreads annoying moves. Minus 9 strength, what? That's not good. Uh, let's use Balloon Juice. No, let's, yeah, let's use Balloon Juice. Still flames. Okay. Nice. Ha! Ah. Evasion paid off. Let's now shield. What should we shield? Uh, let's shield the one because he already took a lot of damage. Now we use flame. Ha! There we go. Yeah, just keep using lock techs on Zack. Ha. He doesn't really care about techs. Okay, this is going well. This is going well. We can do it. Curse. Not very good. Not very good, again. Um, let's use Balloon Juice on this guy again. Because he's rather useless if we can't use his sword. Almost there. Okay, it was a good choice, I guess. There we go. No! Uh, this guy is even more useless if he can't move, so... Perfect. Now flame. Oof. A critical of 54. Also, how the hell did Amela resist that? Ooh, see, it is our mind crystal already paid off. And now Mardek takes care of the rest. Perfect, good job. We got the Catacombs Key, which is a plot item, so we actually needed to defeat this guy. Also, in case you're wondering, we are very unlucky. Because he could have dropped a sword called Keyblade, and I think this is the only place you can actually do it, like get that item. But, um, yeah, I'm not really feeling like uh, retrying it again, so. You can just search the wiki if you really want to. There's a chance that that guy drops Keyblade, which was the blade that he was using. It gives no stats whatsoever, so that's why I'm not really uh, worried about it. Also, Secret Passage. Also, looting stuff on the other side. We need to go back. But yeah, I can later leave the link in the description so you can actually see the item and its stats. It's just a slightly stronger base. If I recall, it has like 26 attack, which is slightly stronger than the 
the, the mace, which is the best item I can use at the moment. But then, not really uh, any more stats, so it's okay. No. I want to loot. Uh, loot, 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 loot. Loot stuff. Okay, we are going well. Actually not. Let's... Let's go this way. And then... This way. Okay, what do you get here? Ring of Vitality. Eh, not really useful, but thank you, I guess. Now we go through the middle and see what we get here. There should be another item here. A bone stone. Okay, this is already something useful that we can start teaching. Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to swap this because we are, will be facing enemies probably that uh, have this trait like uh, zombification. So, it's a good thing that uh, someone uh, learns zomb zombification. Like, resisting zombification. It is probably the worst status in this uh, game because it counts as you being dead, basically. So, yeah. It's very strong. The, the upside is that pretty much no enemy uses it, except very strong. So, we should be fine most of the time, but it's good to have one uh, character that doesn't uh, that resists uh, zombification. Also, I think it gives me dark resistance as well. Did I see well? We'll see. Uh, no, it just gives two defense and two magical defense, which is not that bad, considering the strength of the items in this game. Uh, so we explored the whole left side, we need to go through the secret passage that we already found. So let's go down. We turn here? No, we don't. Uh, actually, we do turn here. For, uh, for healing? No, we don't. We are not pussies. Yeah, let's keep going up. Nope. Just skipping a few encounters, so... Uh, we still have some items to loot, like these items that these guys use. Oh, never mind. I also need to heal with Mardek, definitely. These are actually quite resistant to damage in general, but very weak against fire. I was thinking about healing because uh, MLA is quite low on MP again. Or oh, as for the thing that uh, Deogan has, that status is called silence, and. Um, it only pre prevents magic uh, uh, skills, and since the one only knows physical ones, it's pretty much no problem that he gets inflicted that with that status. Uh, are you missing something? Oh, I already know, I'm so stupid. I actually need to go back because I got the key, the catacombs key. So we are going back after we, we loot this place, there is no way we can proceed in this area without going through the main gates. Also, I should use shield with Mardex. He only needs one more. Let's see if I can remember that. A bone mail and Ether. Ether is really nice. And bone mail is... I think it's very useful for this. Uh, vulnerable to light, resist dark and curse. See, resist dark is nice. Uh, 
I kind of don't want, however, to swap pretty much no one armor. And I don't think that... Uh, yeah, Zack can actually use it. Um, well... It resists curse. Well, Mardek will take a while to learn this, I guess, but... Well, we need a Dark Resistance, I'm pretty sure. So, let's actually swap this. Okay. And he can learn Purity. Which... I'll start teaching him, why not? Okay. So... Good, this is good. I'm just checking out everyone. See if I forgot to equip something. Well, yeah, yeah, I wish I could equip it all. But I can't. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Martek is now very vulnerable to light damage, but I don't think that's pretty, like, an issue. In this chapter, at least. Also, 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 no, we're good for now. I was thinking about swapping MLA armor for that uh, Geo jacket, but this way she will never learn a single uh, magical defensive skill. Not that it matters that much, but but yeah. You know, actually, let's swap it. I am a very indecisive person, as you already know. So yeah, it stays like this. And Emela can even learn... ...this. So she will resist the crap load. Also, this guy is not learning anything, so we might as well just give this next stone to him. And... ...he will learn antibody. There you go. Finally, we should give an item to Emela. She's lacking a lot of uh, special defensive now, so we're going to just give her a pendant. I think we're fine. Yeah. So let's get back to where we were. Oh no. Oh no. No fighting. Oh baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. <laughs> oh, what did I remember? <laughs> there is a Shakira song that says, no fight, no fight. But now it's like uh, healing stuff, which we just did. And I would say that we did quite a lot on this episode. We explored... Uh, Half of the catacomb, the, I would say that this is way too big to like explore in a single episode. So that will be all for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. I'll be entering that big door in the next episode that I count with your presence. So yeah, that is all for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around for the next one. Bye bye.